Hello YouTube, Daniel back from Maximum Photoshops, and we're here with another tutorial. So let's jump right to it. This is the tutorial for today. I know I haven't been for a long time, but you know I'm back into it, loving Photoshop, and I want to teach you guys something new. So let's get started. Here is a really cool bubble effect that I found out when I was just playing with Photoshop. So it's just a little bit of bubbly, really cool goodness. So let's get into the tutorial. We're going to click Control N. My width is going to be 1,366 by 768. I'm going to leave the resolution at 72 and make sure that the color is RGB color. And let's hit OK. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our gradient tool. We're going to go up to this icon right here and we're going to make sure that it's black and white and click OK. Now make sure the mode is on normal and make sure reverse is checked. And we're going to go ahead and make our first bubble. Make it whatever size you want. I'm going to leave it at that. Now the trick to this is right after you make your first bubble, you're going to go and click normal and select lighten. Now, as you can see, I make more bubbles and they all sort of interconnect to some bubbly goodness, which I love. And I was very surprised when I was playing around and astonished and very happy. So I'm making a tutorial so you guys can do this yourself. As you can see, I made a couple of bubbles right in the middle, stick it wherever you want, in the crevice of the existing bubbles. Now, if you look into here, I made a little bit of coloring. So I'll teach you guys how to do that now too. After you're done with actually making your bubbles, click lighten and go back to normal for your gradient tool. Go to the new layer panel and pick any color gradient you want. For this purpose, I'm going to use this sort of purplish, reddish, purple night gradient. Click OK. I'm just going to swipe it across the screen, holding Shift to make sure it's a straight line, and we have our gradient. So, the final thing we have to do is go to Normal, click Soft Light, and you have your colored image. Now, when you're looking at this, and you look at this one, you're like, but Daniel, um, it's not as colored. And that's right. Now we're going to go to the Adjustments, we're going to click Vibrance, and we're going to bump up the Vibrance. And boom, we have a little bit more color already. But what I love to do is I'd like to go to the Curves panel and drag it somewhere from here, drag it downwards, and drag the top part upwards, which makes a little bit more contrast to the image. So there you go, guys, this bubbly image. And I will give you the Photoshop PSD download link in the description. Thank you for watching, and if you like this tutorial, Subscribe, like the page, it really helps. I want to get bigger. And <laughs> you might hear I want to get a new mic. So once again, thank you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now. Hey guys, one more thing that I forgot to mention at the start of the tutorial, if you have problems, is that when you're doing your gradients, make sure that your gradient is not on linear. It's on radial gradient. Anyway, once again, have a good day, and I'll see you next time. I'm out.